Okay, let's jump right back into this. I'm anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? Blake, just shut up. The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Well, that sucks. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this, uh, zone? Like, you, for the moment, stop acting like you're so cool. About because you're not. Mile. You're not cool, Blake. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question a woman? Maybe mile? I am. How do you know? I'm gonna be calm, the clues clear, we get, cool, the and collected we can here. The zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? I came here to find a killer. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's wow. enough! You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. So you better get off your butts and start moving. Great. So they sent me with Blake. Come on. This is one of the two suspects. No answer. We waste our time coming here. Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. Wow. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Blake, you're kind of an asshole. Call the cops. Oh my god. Literally. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. Wait, close the door. He's a god-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months okay. back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. I had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Hey, I don't blame him. Ugh. This is getting a little too creepy. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. Is that a glass of milk? 
What? <laughs> I know I, it probably isn't, I'm just being an idiot, but still. Okay, there's a little too much guy. Ugh. That's disgusting. The guy's taking a break from reality, holed up here in this crazy apartment. Yeah, that's pretty much the situation. Okay. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. What he said. Uh oh. What's that noise? Now how are we gonna explain this? Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. Okay, but do you actually work anywhere? Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. You know, God's always inside of us. He was with you. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? Like, don't we make this worse. You, don't we, Nathaniel? Oh, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak. I've got yes, to do please. something. What does he Blake, say to you, Nathaniel? What are you doing? Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about it. I guess he Blake's trying to break it, but what good is it? Doesn't That's he? enough. He needs Leave him more. alone. More. I gotta stop Blake. He's going too far. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! Shit! Blake is totally out of- to go and Carter, find that kid shit. in the park! Are you the out of your mind? <laughs> you all night long. You wanted them to stop! Maybe Blake you, knows no. what he's doing after all. No. Stop. No. Stop! That's enough! So you obeyed them, to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him! The guy is, is terrified of Blake. He really thinks he's the Antichrist no. or something. Stop! Stop! Oh my god. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? What? Really? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I Nathaniel. I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot us. Him. For Christ's sake! I'm not gonna shoot, shoot him. You kicked him. Calm down, Nathaniel. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Put the gun down. Concentrate on my voice, Nathaniel. Listen only to my voice. Team, you shall regret confronting the emissary of the Lord. You shall know divine power. No. Keep calm. Everything is going to be fine, Nathaniel. Christ, all powerful. Defend us in our battle with the forces of evil. Protect us from the cunning and wiles of the demon. May God Almighty manifest the power of his empire. And may divine power cast Satan and all the other spirits that prowl the world in search of souls into the darkest depths. Okay, this guy is off his rocker, but we need to do something. Uh, psychology. Lieutenant Blake is gonna leave our planet right now and return to the what? realm of shadows. Creature of darkness, I do beseech you to return to the realm of shadows and leave our Nathaniel in peace. Back away, slowly. 
good. Now drop the gun. Drop it, Nathaniel. You're doing good, crazy person. You're doing really good. Put your hands on your head. Turn around. 